last episode of The Assistant. Contestants encountered a strange little man in paradise. This is your, your drill sergeant today. He taught them the meaning of ass kicking. Move it! Now! And when Jeff and Sarah had big problems with their boss, feelings got hurt and axes flew. Bye bye. With only eight left in paradise, who will be the one to win the car, the clothes, the job, and the title? The title of assistant. door opens and Max is standing there. Today is a very special day. It's Mr. Dick's birthday. Once a year, we have a big party. It's a surprise. We are informed by Max that it was Andy's birthday and to keep hush hush about it. You cannot tell him you know about it. And don't screw it up. Don't ruin it or you will all be... <laughs> the more competitive side of the game is coming through. I want this more than I've ever wanted anything in my life. Ebony, Mark, and I are assigned to uh, go shopping for Andy's presents for the day. Max assigns Melissa and I the task of calling the limo to make sure it's here to pick up Andy and to call all the guests. My task was to decorate the whole party. My assignment is to call the bakery and order the cake. To call the restaurants, we need one more person. Nikita return. I don't think it's fair. She lost the game show. She didn't do any work. You have been chosen to call around and book a restaurant. I just hope you feel comfortable when you're getting cut twice. Must be something about me that they brought me back because other people were eliminated and they're not coming back. It's a surprise. You cannot tell him you know about it. And don't screw it up. Don't ruin it, or you will all be... <laughs> it is Andy's birthday, and we need to prepare this party for him. I'm up in my room alone trying to get some quiet time, and they're downstairs just e eating each other's poop like little rats. It's his 29th birthday. Okay. Please don't tell him anything. Don't ask okay. him anything. Don't don't mention this. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a friend of Andy Dix, and I'm calling pertaining to a surprise birthday party we're right doing for him tonight. I'm just not comfortable coming to any of Andy's events anymore. What did he say? Andy slept with his wife. Oh my gosh. Okay, next phone call. Max. Where is everybody? I just need everybody to just, to just be a little more quiet. I'm having a, not such a good day. I'm glad you guys are. I'm not. Nikita, can I talk to you real quick? The weird thing about Nikita is I cut her and I had elimination remorse because I, I just, I really like her. I brought you back because I think there's something you know, special about you. I can do whatever I want. It's my show. What's going on? Well, nothing right now. There's something's going on in here. Cheer up. I'm that don't if I ask. It's a bad day for me. I'm not really in a good mood today, just so you know. And I, that's why I just, you guys just do your thing. You guys just, everyone, I'm gonna be in my room. 
I want to be alone, you know, just spend some some quality me time. I want to take a take a dive in Lake Dick. Kosher, kosher food, no peppers on food, no dairy, no dairy. Nikita needed quite a bit of help. Okay. I think we basically did Nikita's job for her. Everybody's making plans for something. They're on the phone, they're over there with paper, they're doing this, they're huddled. I'm having one of the worst days of my year. And everyone thinks it's some kind of joke. Well, I'm not laughing. The whole party situation was just a conundrum because, I mean, it was the day of, we had to find gifts, food, decorations, all at the last minute. I went upstairs to get Andy, and Andy had locked himself in the closet. Well, we're kind of wanting you to come out to dinner with us because we realized that you said that you were having a bad day today. We're having a really bad day. We're Where's everybody else? They're all downstairs. We're getting ready to leave. Where are you guys going? We're going out to eat. You can do whatever you want. I'm no. just having a really bad day. We're not, and, we don't want to. And it seems like you guys are mocking me. No, we don't want to go out to eat without but you. thank you. No, no. Is he feeling better than he was feeling earlier? He had so. locked himself in the closet. We all leave to go to the restaurant to set up for the party. Melissa felt that it was her responsibility that he get in the limo and get there. Andy! I went upstairs to try to go get him. I'm not in the mood. This competition is about proving that you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. You look great. No, don't lie to me, Melissa. No. I don't look great. I look like ass. Do you need a hug? Twice warmed over. It's not a party without Andy. We want to hang out with you tonight. It's important for all of us to be together. Will you come with us, please? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm, legally, I can't okay. really touch you, so. It's okay. You look great. You always look great. Thank you. Thank you. So off we go. He got changed and decided to come out to eat with us. Go, do it. Go, 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 shorty. It's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip a coffee like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give a fuck. It's not your birthday. Is it your birthday tonight? Happy birthday. Is today your birthday? No, it's not. This whole party was based on the fact that it was his birthday. Emotional distress is on the way. I'm very afraid. It's not my birthday. 